The Yonkers mayor coming under fire for having 14 family members on city payroll to the tune of $2 million. All right, Fox 5's Richard Giacoba spoke with the mayor who argues he's from a large family and would be unfair to exclude people just because they're related to him. In just 60 days, Mayor Mike Spano will attempt to take one step closer to making history, becoming the Democratic nominee for Yonkers mayor for a fourth term. But one of the mayor's Democratic opponents says the name Spano is a bit too synonymous in the state's third largest city. The reality is that um, the mayor is the CEO of the city. Councilwoman Corazon Pineda Isaac is calling out the incumbent mayor for what she says is just plain nepotism. The councilwoman claims Mayor Spano has at least 14 family members on the city's municipal payroll, totaling $2 million a year. I think that for folks who live in the city who are residents who do not have access to local jobs, you know, when they see that, I think it seems, it, it looks abusive. Good afternoon, everyone. The mayor was at an event today announcing a quality of life initiative to crack down on shoplifting and drag racing, among other crimes plaguing his city. We asked Spano about the allegations from his opponent. He admits 14 family members are indeed employed by the city, but it's not something he thinks is an issue because of how large the Spano family is. And there are probably over 300 relatives that live right here in Yonkers. And so, um, you know, I guess my opponents would suggest that uh, anyone who might have um, a a blood relative of mine uh, ought not to participate in an open competitive civil service exam. A quick check on some of the jobs Spano's family members hold. His youngest brother is a city clerk. His sister-in-law is an executive director of the Yonkers Industrial Development Agency. Another brother, former state senator Nick Spano, runs a lobbying firm based in the city. And at least seven nieces and nephews are in civil service jobs, including firefighters and police officers. I'm not going to apologize for them because uh, the all work hard uh, and they all um, um, you know do wonderful things especially as first responders. Councilwoman Pineda Isaac says that two million dollar number could be even higher with those city employees when you factor in all the fringe benefits like health care and retirement. The mayor says though that all city employees including family members were all given jobs based on their own merit. They work hard and have a commitment to their city. The mayor says he does too. We're in Yonkers. Richard Giacobus, Fox 5 News.